Hello YouTubers, this is Chris Nicholson at KMN Keyboard Vault, which is uh, my own studio vault. I'm here showing you, you're not seeing double, well you're, you are seeing kind of double a little bit. These are all styles um, of the DAS system Yamaha keyboards. DAS system was an earlier version of the AWM, plus mixed in with the FM, which is um, frequency modulation. Now, start off with this keyboard right over here. This is a PSR 38. This keyboard has um, basically 36 rhythms and you have 61 full-size keys. You have a hundred voices which leads up to uh, I was going to say 5050 um, 500, I'm sorry, 5050 uh, dual voices on here. Um, this has a heavy metal demo, which is really cool, which is their own original sound. Now, the only thing about this, it doesn't have a pitch bend. But this has a bigger brother, which is the PSR 48. So you got the 38, this is the 48. Now, this 48 right over here is, um, I was going to say, it's the same synth engine as this, but some of the sounds are a little bit different, a little bit altered, and... The other thing about it is that you have a hundred rhythms on here. So you have all the same features of this, but you have a hundred rhythms and you have drum pads, which give you more percussion. So you have six drum pads on here. Um, the same exact demo. Can you believe that? They're both different keyboards, uh, but you know, almost similar looking, same exact demo on here. Um, this is also run by the DAS system, um, what was going to say tone generator. Another thing that you have, you have also a pitch bender wheel. I don't know if you can see that. You have a pitch bender wheel and basically as I said the same keyboard but you have a little bit more features. Okay so before this one you have this one over here. Um, sorry about the key right over here is that the key right there it has a whole bunch of tape on it so I have to take that off but I just recently got this keyboard in. This is a PSR 47. Now this PSR 47 has like a disco demo, which is pretty cool, but this is its older brother of the PSR 48. Now, the only difference about the 47 is that it's the same style of casing, but it's that the cosmetics looks different. Say, for instance, you got more bluer buttons right here, but it's the same exact monster. And you have a different demo, but you have all the same rhythms, you have all the same voices as the PSR 48 from the PSR 47, including the MIDI in and out. Okay, now, since I got all three of these keyboards, you got the 38, 48, and you got a 47. Here, right here, I normally don't bring this out, but as you can see, I got two PSR 48s. This is an older version, and this PSR 48 right here, this um, came to me brand spanking new in a box. So I keep it still brand spanking new in a box. It still has the warranty, still has the manual, still has everything it came with. So this this one, um, as I said, I usually don't put it on the floor that much. But this, and I got a, you won't believe it, I got a PSR 500 and this for the price of one keyboard, which I'm not going to tell online how much I got it for. But they were both brand spanking new in a box. So now, if something happens to this one, this one could come out. But if something happens to that one, it's no problem because I got the 47. They're all the same synth engines. So thank you, YouTube. I just wanted to show you guys the DAS system um, tone generator keyboards of Yamaha. These keyboards were basically 1987 going up to the 1990s. There was more in the line of the DAS system keyboards like the P, like the PSR 27, the 28, there was the, um, of course we got the 38, there was a 37, and also you have the higher line which was the PSR not only 47 and 48, but also you had the uh, PSR 3500, PSR 4600, and 4500, which was all their line. Thank you very much YouTube, and have a nice day.